Hello, this is John. Uh, we are at the USS Alabama in Mobile, Alabama. Uh, behind me there is the ship. Uh, we're getting ready to go on the tour, so we got to get some pretty good video. I've already, already taken some pretty good pictures of the different um, tanks and airplanes that they have here. But anyway, we'll go on the tour here. Awesome. Let me get some of this over here. Here's the construction and the commissioning. Arctic convoy protection. Okay, let's see what this is. Looks like a diagram of the ship. Very cool. See Pacific gunfire support. We'll get this. All right, Alabama battleship. Okay. Let's see. Gun director. Yes. Oh, okay. We got to get that, of course. <laughs> and what is your name, sir? Sir Ramsey. Okay. Admiral Ramsey. Um, let's see. Pacific anti aircraft defense. Very good. Mm. Alabama ships and namesakes. And Memorial Park, let's see, it looks like Steven Seagal shot a movie on this ship here. And oh, there's one more over here, A House Divided. All right, very cool. Okay, here I am at the front of the battleship. Now I'm just going to walk up here so you can get a kind of an idea of what it looks like. Can you see the gun turrets? Very cool. Just keep walking up here. Okay, that says Guam, 1944. And we'll just kind of go over this way. Very cool. Okay, so there's those steps I just came down. Okay. What's this? Is that for mail? Okay. Let's see, Major Harold Royce and Captain George R. Bentley. Okay, let's see what this is. This looks like it has to do with Japan. There's the flag. Tokyo Bay Occupation Force. Let's see. One of those things to do math with. A fan. Some money. These are Tokyo Bay artifacts. I assume that then these are artifacts from Tokyo Bay. That looks like a samurai. All right, very cool. We'll go over here and see I Iwo Jima. Cool. Okay. Just go over 
here. Oh, excuse me. Alright, United States Marine Corps, Semper Fi. Okay, it's chow time. We'll go around here. Let's see what do we what do we have to choose from? Cornflakes, corn flakes, rice krispies, bran flakes. We got some apples and oranges there. I'll take an orange, sir. Al, go ahead and give me one of those apples too. Go around here. Alright, very cool. And I guess this is where they sit down at. Awesome. Okay. And we got some more sitting room over here. Okay, very good. We'll go around. Here's the pressing shop. I guess if you need anything pressed. Very cool. This room here. This looks pretty cool. Who is that? Teddy Roosevelt. Well, isn't that something? Cool. Hmm. Okay, here's where you don't want to be. It's the brig. You see that guy in there? The tank, as it was called, is used to confine men caught fighting until they caught, cooled off. Or men returning from liberty half seas over. We'll just kind of get a look in there. I wonder what he did. Here are some photographs that I took uh, at the USS Alabama. When I went there, I just expected there to be a ship. I had no idea that there would be all this other military equipment and uh, vehicles, boats, tanks. Um, there were Jeeps. Uh, there was even a World War II era submarine there called the USS Drum. Um, another interesting um, thing I saw there they, uh, was a submarine that was used during the Civil War by the Confederate States of America and I got a picture of that. Um, they also had various memorials there, I think one to Vietnam, uh, to Korea, the War on Terror, and also to War Dogs. I think that picture right there is for the one for the War Dogs. Um, a little bit about the ship. Um, Let's see here. Uh, the Alabama was commissioned in 1942 and served in World War II in the Atlantic and Pacific theaters. She was retired in 1962. Mm, okay, let's see here. Uh, displacing more than 44,500 tons, the USS Alabama battleship measures 680 feet from stem to stern. Half as long as the Empire State Building is tall, armed with nine 16-inch guns in three turrets and 20 5-inch 38 caliber guns in 10 twin mounts. Her main batteries could fire shells as well as a small car accurately for a distance of more than 20 miles. The USS Drum was a World War II era submarine. USS Alabama Battleship Memorial Park has more than 25 of the nation's finest military aircraft on display. From the A-12 Blackbird and the B-25D Straddle Fortress to Alabama's own Tuskegee Airmen aircraft, the P-51 Mustang, and many more. The aircraft pavilion is the only place in the world that houses the complete collection of the F-Series of fighter jets, the F-14A Tomcat, 
the F-15A Eagle, the F-16A Fighting Falcon, the YF-17 Cobra, one of the only two prototypes in the world, and the F-A-18 Hornet, the current aircraft of the U.S. Navy's Blue Angels. This was definitely an awesome place. I definitely recommend it, especially if you're, if you're into military history. I think I could have spent a week there and still not have seen everything that there is to see. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to going back. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And until next time, bye.